Welcome. We are going to walk through two different ways that you can set up your recurring membership business model using Kajabi. So the first way is a product-based recurring model, and the second way is an offer-based recurring model. So let me show you exactly what that means, and as you're watching this, you'll be able to start thinking about your content and the best way that it's going to work for you. So in a product-based recurring model, you are going to have your one product, we'll put a P right there, and as you create new content, you're going to put that new content, so we'll put little pieces, you know, content will be our little C's, okay? We're going to just add them into the product. Now, more than likely, you're going to also be calling these your categories, but it's not limited to your categories. You could add a new post of information. So these little pieces of content continually go into one product. Now, I want you to think of your product as a book, all right? You are creating a single book right here. Ahoy there, little polar bear. And as you put in new content, this book will expand and get larger and larger. So think about that as you're doing the product-based recurring model, that you're starting with a single product, okay? And it might be a small version. Here it is, just like that. And as we add in new content, this book gets bigger. So new content, okay, new content maps like this. So the product is constantly expanding. That is the product-based recurring model. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're thinking about the user experience. So with large pieces of content that are going to keep expanding, I, per me personally, I recommend that you use the Premier or the classic product themes because they just hold piece, large pieces of content very well. I will include the link, I have a quiz, what theme should your product be wearing, that you can use the questions from the quiz to narrow it down on um, what theme is best for you, but my gut for most people is the premiere or the classic theme. Now you're going to have an offer for this product. So offer we're gonna do in pink, and the offer holds the product, okay? So there's our offer. It is going to hold the product. The offer, because it's recurring, you are going to have, we're gonna use easy, we're gonna say it's $20 a month. Okay, so this is product-based recurring membership model. Now, we're going to highlight or contrast that with the offer-based recurring membership model. So in the offer-based, I want you to think of here is a product, here is a product, here is a product. So instead of putting all your content in one product, you're going to have product that is separate, okay? So we're gonna use, here we go, okay? We are going to use Puckster, we're a big hockey family here. So these, okay, because, and this product, again, can be whatever size you want it to be, but you're gonna have three books. So you're gonna have one, two, three. Okay, these are three separate books that your subscribers can have access to. The beauty of the offer-based recurring model is that, let's say that the subscription model isn't right for one of your potential customers, but they really, really want one of your pieces of content. 
with Kajabi, you can still sell this separately. So I personally love this model when you have multiple pieces of content because you can maximize how you're selling it without any additional work. The creation of a separate offer page, which is minimal, like minimal to nothing, allows you to really service the needs of the people that you've made the content for by saying, hey, if you'd like the subscription model, I can give you that. And if you just need one of the pieces, I can give you that. It also comes in really handy um, as part of a membership exit strategy, which I will share with you on a different video. So we have our separate products. Now, because it's offer-based, again, offer is our pink, we're gonna put the offer around those products. So when I purchase this offer, what shows up in my library is the product one, two, and three. Contrast with product-based recurring model, I log into my library, this larger product is what I see. Now, when you're adding new content, okay, new content on this, and this, bear with me, because I'm gonna show you just a few big, common, very consistent ways that you can add the content, but know that because you have Kajabi, you pretty much have limitless ways on how to do this. So it will accommodate your business however you are putting content in. Let's say I have a new piece of content. Let's number these for illustrative purposes. So let's say I have a new piece of content for two, okay? I do this frequently, we'll use myself as an example. This might be my copyright class. This might be my trademark class. Well, as I have new content, content two, I can add this straight into that product. The same way, let's say I had a piece of content one, I could add that straight into that product. Exactly what this is. So new content, whether it is a whole category, whether it's a post, a video, an assessment, whatever other new toys uh, Kajabi creates for us, you know, as time goes by, you're const you have, you add the content in. Now, the other piece that you have is let's say you come up with product four. Okay? Product four is added to the offer that your members have. And you have the ability to just click a button when you add this product to the offer that says, yes, please give this to my members. So this is the model that I personally use for my own recurring membership subscription. And anytime I'm adding in content, I just give it to my members. So when they log in, just think about a your local gym, okay? You have a membership subscription to your local gym. They have multiple pieces of content. And when they get new spin bikes, Okay, we'll call product four spin bikes. They put the spin bikes in the gym, you get access to it. So it's a very flexible way with the structure of keeping it easy from a business management standpoint and also giving you really strong, what I like best, creative freedom because you don't have to make a new product. You don't have to do a new launch. You don't have to go through all this craziness. You can say, oh my goodness, I can do a video, a PDF, a flow chart, an audio lesson, whatever it might be, and I can just add it right into that product. Oh, I have a new product. I can add it right in. So it is all happening from this offer standpoint. Now, a quick, we're gonna kind of jump ahead just so I can share this idea with you while, I, um, while you're thinking about this. Not everyone's gonna stay, okay? No, they're, they're going to come in, they're going to come out. And one thing that you can do, because quite often, especially if you're doing the offer-based version, they may love one of your products, okay? They may just like, oh my gosh, that is, yes, I want to get that product. Well, that's where you can say, let's say they're going to cancel, they're going to leave, all right? They're done, they, you have 
fulfilled your purpose. I think good, you know, goodbyes should be really good. And um, recently I have been reading um, Powerful by Patty McCord, and she was part of creating um, the Netflix Freedom and Responsibility Culture. If you have not read this book, it is incredible. You should definitely add it to your list. But part of theirs was proactively knowing when it was time for someone to leave and making sure that that leaving was incredible, where it was, it just, it was an incredible, it, their time at Netflix had been incredible. They wanted the leaving experience to be incredible. The same is true with your members. You never know when they're going to come back. You want them to talk about how incredible the experience was with you. So here, here's your products. You have them separate. What you can do, we'll use blue for this, is say, you know what, you're leaving. Would you like to purchase? You can have purchase for a one time payment or gifted one item. Obviously, limitless possibilities for how you structure this. This is one idea. They are leaving, and if you can give them the option, because you have these as separate products, you have them as separate offers, you can create a goodbye offer for a member, and you can let them purchase for a discounted one-time payment here you go. You may take this product with you. It will stay in their library. They have access to it. And it is, for me, a really pleasant way of saying, I was thrilled that you were here. Great to have you. If there's something you'd like to take with you, here you go. All right. Or depending on how many months they've been in your membership, let's say someone's been in for eight months and eight times $20, they're at 160. And you say, okay, cool. Thank you. I want to gift you one item. So gifting them that, again, you have to figure that out from your membership creation when you're drafting out what your membership looks like and what your benefits are and how all those pieces work. But it, I find it helpful to be thinking proactively, okay, how can I make the leaving experience as great as the onboarding, as great as being in there. And this is one way that the offer-based recurring model makes it, makes it very easy. Now, you can do it on the product one, but what you have to do is you have this one big product, right? So we have this one large product that we've added chapters to. You need to just have a way, if you want to do this, again, this is a big if, to be able to pull out the one chapter of information, one segment of information, and be able to give it to them. So you can do this, obviously, as, um, where's our P? Where does it go to? So we'll put, I'm gonna put just a small P here. Okay, so this is a portion of what's in your larger content. You need a way for it to come out. And then to have an offer around it. Exactly like this or like that. Or whatever else that you come up with. Because again, lots of different ways. So it can be done. This could be done using a Kajabi product. It could be done using a folder in Google Drive or Dropbox or Evernote where you have the content and you're giving it to them. So lots of variations, lots of ways to do that. But product-based, one large product with an offer, you continually add to the product. Individual products surrounded by an offer is offer-based. We are um, going to walk through how each of these is set up inside Kajabi uh, to 
round out your learning experience. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I am more than glad to answer anything for you. Have a wonderful day.